You know, I'm finding it really wild. So Neville Goddard took what he learned from Abdullah and some other people. And he didn't repackage it. He ran with it. And then he shared Neville's experience, right? And so here I am, 2022. When did Neville die? 72, 74, something like that. 50 years ago. I was six, right? Here, here we are, 50 years later. And I'll tell you what I'm doing. Right? I'm not repackaging Neville. Right? I'm sharing what I notice. And here's what I notice, right? Yeah, I notice that there's one ocean. That's, that's you. Wait, the true you is the one ocean. And yeah, that ocean appears to be divided into seven oceans. And yeah, there are tides. And yes, there are waves. And yes, there are undercurrents. But when you get you're the ocean, oh my god. Now here's the cool thing. That's pretty overwhelming, isn't it? You're the ocean. It's easy to get intellectually. It's really easy to say. Right? It doesn't matter what you get intellectually or what you say, by the way. Because I notice some people try to hide from their thoughts. They play mood music. And some people try to hide from what they say. Why they edit what they say. And some people try to hide from the news. So here's the email I get this morning. Here's the gist of it. Ready? Got it. Because because this is so golden. Don't hide. Notice what you are tempted to hide from. Notice what you're tempted to hide away. And stop it. I, I mention the news because I get way more than one email a day from people saying, How do you do it? With all that is happening, how do you do it? How do you stay faithful? How do you do it? How can I stay faithful? How can I persist when my parents are like they are? How do you persist, Mr. 20, whenever you see the news? <laughs> right? <laughs> see, I get emails from people that don't even watch the news, and they still let the news lead. You're the leader. You're the formless and the faceless. The state that you most commonly return to is your dwelling place. The thing is, have you made it out of paper? Have you made your dwelling place out of paper? Because Neville read the, read the newspaper. All right, I could share you the quote. I could share with you the lecture. I could also share with you the quotes where and share with you the lecture, God's purpose, where Neville talks about making money, what he charged, that he wouldn't talk to small groups. All right? It's like, listen, you know, here's what I do. All right? Bigger group, more money than most. He had a promoter that actually ran a part of his business for him. You see, here's the fun thing, guys. There are these things that you want to hide from. Don't. Don't hide from the news. Don't hide from your speech. Don't hide from what other people are saying. Neville Goddard said, revise the conversation as you hear it. What if that lady that's always walking around with the dreads, what if you just simply imagined her when she comes to mind, when she comes into your airspace? Simply being happy. I can tell you, it works. Sometimes it takes more than once. But here's the thing. Do you, ima do you want to imagine shit for them while they walk towards you? Or do you want to imagine them happy as they walk toward you? Do you want to imagine shit for them when they pop up on in imagination? You know, it's like, well, I wonder what Bobby's doing. Well, he's an asshole. He's always gloom and doom. All right, you can feel that real if you want to. I bet you I bet you for some reason that might infect you. See, I'm a big fan of discovering you're the one ocean. There are waves, there are tides, and yeah, we label it as seven different oceans, but you know, that guy Magellan, like he got in a boat and he went round the world. He didn't have to get to one ocean and stop and take the boat out of the water and put it back in another ocean. He just kept going. I want you to keep going. And the thing is, you're not the boat that goes around the ocean. You're the ocean. But where do pearls come from? God darn it. I just love this stuff, right? And I know there are freshwater pearls and there are saltwater pearls. But, you know, here's what I notice. A little bit of grit gets in somewhere. And when a little bit of grit gets in you, ooh, that's when you get to buy the pearl. 
And you know, pearls just keep getting bigger. Bigger, not bitter. <laughs> pearls keep getting bigger. So when a little grit gets in, right? Ooh ha. If a little bit of news contaminates your state, you get to go, hoo ha. You get to buy the pearl, and the pearl gets bigger. And then if tomorrow, you know, your mother in law shows up, oh, God, she makes me mad. You get to, hoo ha. She doesn't make me mad. Right? Oh my God, I imagined something that made me mad. Because I could just imagine being indifferent about her existence. I could actually lift her up. And then the pearl gets bigger. And here's the thing, guys. A pearl is a multi-layered thing. It's not like a diamond. Right? It's multi-layered. A pearl keeps growing. And God being infinite in potential gets to become infinite in actuality by forgetting and remembering, forgetting and remembering. Neville talks about this. God had to forget God is God so that God could experience and explore and expand. I say that. But it's all in Neville's lectures, and it's all in what we do. See, I just took what Neville taught, and I, I, and I run with it. And I keep running with it. God, make sure you watch today's show. We're going to talk about the playground of possibilities. Oh, my God. Because if the bridge of incidents feels like work, if you're worried about what will happen, if you're wondering what to do. Ah, the bridge of incidents playground of possibilities show you got to watch that the other thing i suggest strongly right the pearl of great price we put together the pearl power pack it's at pearlpowerpack.com you get how simple i am i am a very simple guy god you get what happens when you start adding shit in self-love self-hate Right? We dealt with that in the group this week. It ain't that you hate yourself. There's no such thing as self-hate or self-love. What you are is love. The thing is, are you noticing it? It doesn't take long to notice it. If you just move that little flashlight of attention around, you notice I am the ocean. Whoa, something happens. You notice I am what gives life. You notice, hey, you got a choice. You can put on your plate what you want to, and if you put shit on your plate while you were asleep, you can get a new plate. Right? You don't have to go through decades and decades of okie fokey and all those other things. Yeah. Right now, you can move. See, you can be an exploration or you can be an argument. Right? You can argue for your limitations. Right? You can argue for what's rational. You can argue for what is. Right? Like your history. Or you can discover the mystery of you. If you got gold today. I always talk about ManifestingMasteryCourse.com because that is the backbone of what we do. It takes about 15 minutes. The average podcast episode is 10. So about the amount of time it takes you to listen to, to a podcast and a half. That's the length of a Manifesting Mastery course lesson. Right? So you got the time. Money. It's a buck a day. Some people imagine, oh my God, $97 is a lot of money. They'll divorce me if I spend it. Trust me, they'll probably divorce you if you don't change. If you've got divorce in your head, right, it's time for you to explore how to run your imagination instead of letting...